Welcome to the Film Lab's Anatomy of a Film Set series here on thesubstream.com. You're currently watching part three of four. I'm not spying on you. I just know that that's what you're doing. As we've seen in our previous installments, the production departments and the art and design departments of a film set can be seen to function as its metaphorical brain and heart, organizing the film's production and helping to create the world in which the film's story takes place. Of all the arts, filmmaking is the most collaborative, and while it is an expressive and creative enterprise, it's also a technically complicated and expensive art form, one that calls for personnel who are able to interpret the director's vision and provide the appropriate technical solution. Film technicians know how to use their specific set of tools to light a scene or move the camera or capture the actor's dialogue in any conditions. These are the people that perform the actual filmmaking. These technicians are the hands of the film set. As ever, the director is required to think about what sort of mood or visual style they'd like to see the film take on. The director has the help of the first assistant director in terms of logistically planning out and executing a technically complicated shot. But ultimately, the director discusses their visual ideas with the biggest technical expert of all, the director of photography, the DOP or the cinematographer. Nowadays, these terms are often interchangeable, but sometimes refer to regional differences. North Americans say DOP, while Euros say cinematographer. Another difference is that a DOP will usually not actually operate a camera, instead leaving that to a camera operator, while a cinematographer will often light and operate. The DOP's job is to make sure that all the technical aspects of this project will perform in the desired manner. The DOP interprets a director's description of the film's visual style and then makes decisions about film stock, lenses, lights, dollies, grains, etc., and drafts an equipment wish list. Once production begins, more personnel are called into action. First, the DOP puts their camera crew together, consisting of the aforementioned camera op and their two assistants. The first camera assistant, who is in charge of focusing the camera and is thus also known as a focus puller, and a second camera assistant, who is like an assistant to the first assistant. The second assistant is also usually the one to load the film or stock into the camera and mark each take with the clapper board, which is why they're known sometimes as a clapper loader. Also important is the lighting or electrical department. The head of this department is the gaffer, who works closely with the DOP to determine where and what kind of lighting is needed for any given shot. The gaffer's right hand is called the best boy, who acts a bit like a team leader and can be trusted to make any lighting decisions in the absence of the gaffer. Since the electrical department is also responsible for any and all power used on set, on location, the gaffer is usually helped by the dude or lady that runs the generator, who is the Jenny Op. And rounding out this crew are numerous other lighting technicians, all of whom can be referred to as the electrics, or sparks. Besides setting up lights and power, there's always a need for some hands-on adjusting of special equipment and rigging on set. The grip department handles these tasks, and they are led by the key grip, who works closely behind the scenes with the DOP and the gaffer to determine the need for things like green screens or blacks any special flags or gels, any dolly requirements, and any scaffolding that might be needed for the shoot. Like the gaffer, the key grip also has a best boy at their side who helps facilitate the grip department's responsibilities, some of which are quite specific. For instance, if the DOP chooses to mount the camera on a dolly, then the dolly grip is responsible for moving the dolly both during the shot and between takes. But really, the rest of the grips are multi-skilled professionals ready to take on any challenge that they face day to day. They also smoke a lot of cigarettes. Besides the technical needs required to capture the picture, the shooting of a film also calls for a sound recordist. There isn't a lot of leeway for the sound recordist to get fancy, for when they record sound on set, their main and only concern is to record it clearly and loudly enough. That's it. But it's not always that cut and dried, as there are a million different situations in which actors can perform dialogue, which calls for a million different solutions. So, the sound recordist needs to be able to think on their feet and get creative when the going gets tough. They enlist the help of a boom operator, who most often can be seen aiming a microphone at the source of sound without entering the frame. Hopefully. 
The boom operator allows the sound recorders to concentrate on the recording device, adjusting the levels and listening for any potential problems that might call for another take. These technicians often work closely with each other and usually are hired as a team. The DOP will often use the same grips, electrics, and camera assistance that they always do, as they may have developed a trusting working relationship with them. The sound recorders and boom operator are usually an inseparable duo as well, and in many cases the former mentors the latter. All in all, these technicians, the hands that actually craft the final product, are the consummate professionals of a film set. The ones who know their stuff, go in, do the job, and get out. Their expertise and dedication to the craft can save the production time and money, which is also a valuable thing. In our last installment, we'll discuss the specialists, the mercenaries, the ones with the hard-to-classify talents necessary for the production of some, but not all, films, and those who often get overlooked because their role isn't as glamorous as some others. Join us for part four of the anatomy of a film set.